Stephanie at Southern Oklahoma Library System, and today we are kicking off week two of our awesome summer reading program, and we are starting off with a family marble run challenge. So we did a video, our awesome branch manager in Wilson, Stephanie Ferguson, did a video on how to create a marble run, and you can view that on our YouTube channel under, under Southern Oklahoma Library System. So you can go and watch, and she'll show you how to build one. I also printed off some pictures of how to create a marble run at home. So here's one where they just use like some popsicle sticks, cups, and cardboard. And we have another one with cardboard and pom-pom balls. So you don't have to use marbles. You can use anything that will roll down your course. This one was created with wooden blocks. This one was board and nails and some lids and cans, some other fun stuff. This one was a log, a stick, and clothespins. They did it outside. This one is just a box, popsicle sticks, and lids off of bottles. Another one with a shoe box and popsicle sticks. We have, whoops, this one was done on the side of an ice box using water bottles. I thought that one was really cool and creative. One using Legos. And I printed one last one. This was really big. They used pegboard and a bunch of wood and all kinds of little gadgets to create that really tall big one. I just thought that was a really awesome creative one to share with y'all. So I just want to remind you that we are giving away one of these prizes to the largest, most creative, and best engineering. And these prizes are offered to you by our wonderful sponsors here on this board. And the way that you're going to enter your creations that you and your family create are you're going to email your pictures and videos because I want to see your marble or your ball or whatever you use run its course. I want you to send those to me at sway at southernoklahomalibrarysystem.org. It's actually southernoklibrarysystem.org. That's also on our website as well. So in your email, there's a couple of things you have to be sure to put in there. You have to include your pictures and videos, your names of everybody that helped in the creation, all the participants. And if you do not have access to an email, you can bring your structure to your local library and your librarian will take pictures and videos for you and they can send those to me as well. All your pictures and video must be turned in no later than Thursday, June 11th at 7 o'clock. We won't take any entries after that because our winners will be announced Friday morning, June 12th, when we bring you our um, videos in. So don't forget, we want to send your creations in Thursday, June 11th at 7 o'clock p.m. I know last week we had a few misunderstandings about that that to be clear and I cannot wait to see your creativity and what you and your family come up with and we have a special guest reader at one o'clock today so log on and view them today as well and have a wonderful week